Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba here on Thursday, August 8th. Well, the poor people in El Paso and Dayton are still trying to get through this week. <sighs> I'm sorry for them. But today, Bubba and I are doing a get the record straight for those dum dums. <coughs> I'm sorry, Democrats. And other people here. CBS, for example, CNN, Fox News, all those dummies. Number one, Vice President Biden. What the hell made you do that kind of uh, uh, remarks? Um, if you wanted to do them, you should have done it earlier or later, but not here, not now, and not ever. Because you are as complicit as President Trump, you say, is. George Wallace? Why'd you bring him into the thing? He was a Democrat, like you. You served under him when you were young, remember? You served under those so-called segregationist Democrats, Robert C. Byrd, and others that used to be in the Senate. Very much... Uh, anti-this and anti-that Democrats, especially anti-African-American and Latinos. Yes. So what, why, why are you barking up? Look at what you did to Anita Hill. Yeah, you got nothing to be saying a remark about there, Biden. You were vice president, I don't know how, but bah. President, no way. You're not even better than Trump. So there's one down. Two, CBS. You're saying all kinds of stuff on the manifesto which nobody has seen, and you're quoting from it. Like invasion of Texas. Let me give you a hint, Nora O'Donnell. Before you put that on the air about somebody's manifesto saying invasion of Texas, you should realize that Texas was under Spanish control and later Mexican. The invasion was by Americans who went there illegally in the 1820s. Mexican tolerated them after they got their independence in 1821 and became the Mexican government in 1823. They tolerated those Americans. But when they wanted what everybody else wants, taxes, well, that's when you said, remember the Alamo. Yeah. And then you got uh, Santa Ana with his pants down. Woohoo! So then you got Texas. Oh, and by the way, you Texans also invaded New Mexico and got El Paso. Okay, Nora O'Donnell and CBS? Don't quote the guy's manifesto if you don't have anything to say, hey, he said this, but this is the actual facts, okay? That's number two. Number three, for all you Democrats who passed the Great Society back in 1960, remember, before that, you had white trash Americans, whites, white trash, as you used to call them in the South. Remember that? White trash? And you people that were white trash, you know who I'm talking about. Because the Democrats used to treat you pretty bad in the South. Oh, big time. You were the ones that did all the orchards along with some of the African Americans. But then you started the welfare state. And hey, you got more being on welfare than you did picking pecans or oranges or whatever, peanuts. You know, so they had to get Latinos to come in and be migrant workers. So whose fault is that? Yours for bringing them in. When I was here in a kid, as a kid in the 1960s, there was no Latino, uh, <clears throat> hardly, in the northern states, like in Michigan. I was one of the rare ones. And everybody thought I was Mexican. What an insult. <coughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> uh, but here in Georgia, you were starting to get them because you needed your peaches, you needed your peanuts. Heck, ask Mr. Uh, Carter about that. Mr. Peanut Farmer, he can tell you. He had to get them because he couldn't get any African-Americans to do any of that for the kind of pay you guys paid. 
and the kind of pay you guys paid the uh, Latinos was even worse. So you see, Americans, this is your favorite alien in Bubba, just putting some things straight. Before you open up your mouth for whatever it is, please have the right facts. Thanks.